What up you guys? Welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel. This channel talk about zines and DIY publishing. And today I want to flip through Attack of the Deranged Mutant Killer Monster Snow Goons by Bill Watterson. I'm a big Calvin and Hobbes fan. This is probably the comic that as a young man I gravitated to. It was on Scholastic, so something that was easily like attainable. And the art always spoke to me. And, and this is uh, something I picked up as an adult. But some of the ones I have from my childhood, they're all tattered, man. They're all destroyed because, like, I read them and reread them. But uh, recently it was snowing. Which I love the snow, definitely. But the winter storm here in Northern California really, uh, really kind of fucked me up. But uh, the cartooning here is so funny, man. I love so much of, of the setup and the punchlines and everything. And this is the stuff that I really just loved about comic strips, it's just the humor in it. So like, I wanna read some of them for you guys, right? You're absolutely positive tigers can't catch chicken pox. He's like, right? He's like, you're absolutely positive tigers can't catch chicken pox. Go back to bed, Calvin. And it's just, you know, just so good, so well done. And Bill Watterson is just one of those cartoonists that just, just had so much, uh, so much range as a cartoonist. And like, I, I don't think he gets enough props, but this was genuinely a, a real cartoonist. Like, you're going to see, like, look at this. Look at this compared to everything else. Look at this art. Like, he had a range, man. There's a Crime Nor one in here as well. That is just so fucking good and funny. But yeah, like, a lot of this stuff that I've been seeing with the Zipatone is what made me like, oh, I need to get some Zipatone. Which, it has come in the mail. So, I definitely plan to do a comic strip using Zipatone. And maybe put it on the channel as well as I make it. But like some of the setup is just so it's just a good comic strip cartoonist it's like you don't have an infinite amount but like you have to be able to translate this uh this joke because usually they're a lot of the comic strips that i've read that i really gravitate to are literally just like humor comics you know and if you catch it just right it's hilarious But look, let's look at this wordless one, right? Sheesh, you buy the kid a good expensive lock and look. And it's, you know, it's funny because it's this young kid's imagination of like, that's his horse and he almost has to tame it. And Bill Watterson, I always wondered why I could never find like Calvin and Hobbes dolls and things like that when I was growing up. And I realized now that Bill Watterson didn't want anything to do with it. And it surprises me because like there's certain cartoonists that I'm always like, man, like why would they stop cartooning? Like how do you stop? And I assume that Bill Watterson probably still makes comics, just doesn't publish them. But I know he does a lot of watercoloring now and uh, watercolor painting, but... This guy, he could have, he could have kept going, man. I think some of the humor in this, and it might be that maybe the well dried up for him. And he he didn't have any more jokes to tell. But yeah, I love the sci-fi stuff too, man. Like, look at this one. Look at that simple use of Zipatone, man. I might try something like that just to just to start with, you know. Even though honestly, you could do that with ink wash. So I, I'm not too sure how I'm gonna use the Zipatone, but like I see him using it with the trees and uses it a lot of places. Look at that motion. 
getting ready to pounce, pounce him. He was more of that sci-fi stuff. Sometimes metaphorical too. That cloud of stars is our galaxy, the Milky Way. Our solar system is on the edge of it. We hurl through an incomprehensible darkness in cosmic terms. We are subatomic particles in a grain of sand on an infinite beach. I wonder what's on TV now. I remember when I was young and I would see things like that, I would be like, there's no way that's how you get to a tiger. But now that, you know, I've been doing it for a while, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of how I put it together as well. <clears throat> and there's something about him with dinosaurs because it's throughout. this one Yeesh. who goes down must come up Blech. I'll get you he <laughs> he hello local Navy recruitment office yes this is an emergency <laughs> This is probably your best page right here to practice drawing Calvin. <laughs> That's our son, Sai. These pictures remind us of more than what we want to remember. And look at this. This this reminds me of like romance comics because I've read a few. Look at the art. It's so melodrama and then it's like it's these two. Okay, you're the doctor, but I'm not going to be any patient of yours. I'm leaving. Fine, good riddance. You ruin everything. The Surgeon General should issue a warning about playing with girls. I'd be Susie's patient. And he does that so well to like, you know what I mean? Like, cause this is the normal drawings. And then when you get like the dinosaurs, the sci-fi, the romance kind of stuff. And then when you get to the crime noir stuff, it's so good. So, you know, this cartoonist had hella range. I love this story too about the, the snowman becoming like the, their own little army, their own little mutant race. It was more of that sci fi stuff. Like, he could draw hella good monsters, man. Every time I see him drawing, like, insect monsters and, and things like that, it just looks hella good. Look at this to translate that it's all in night. Look at that. Look at the way that looks. Fucking shit, that's so good. It was that crime nor one I was telling you guys about. It's 
It's like a detective story, a crime noir. Look at that pistol behind them. This panel right here is the one. There's a reason why Calvin and Hobbes was real popular, and it's because Bill Watterson's just an amazing cartoonist. You don't get it, and it's like, oh shit, you just woke up? You already not understand what's going on there. I don't know if I like the way he does rain, because that definitely looks the, like the way I do rain. <laughs> but maybe it's okay to do rain like that. Look at his dinosaurs. The end. Quick flip through. Definitely anytime it rains or snows, I tend to read some uh, some Calvin and Hobbes comics. Attack of the deranged killer mutant snow goons. Fucking tight. But alright you guys, as always, don't forget... I publish a comic book zine anthology called Feral Comics. This comic is filled with underground, subversive humor comics. Link will be in the show notes if you guys are interested in picking up single issues or gaining a year subscription. Uh, beyond that, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Lates.